Hello folks and welcome to Best Choice Trailers and RVs located at 1449 Arona Road, Irwin, Pennsylvania, 724-864-1449. Today we're going to look at a new 2025 Salem 32 BHDS and in 2025 they have a total redesign. Starting with the front area, we've got our two-piece cap, 20-pound LP tanks, power front jack. As we get on the side, we've got our large opening for storage that goes completely through from side to side. We've got our dry erase uh, board here. So the interesting thing here is you can either uh, write down what you need or what you don't need to make sure that you remember everything on your camping trip or steps to do things. It's really nice to have. It's a nice reminder. Also, these are magnetic doors. No longer have clips to them. Uh, it's a nice feature. If you know, going down the side, they have two light bars. Light bars either operate when you go down the road or they operate uh, when you have the trailer plugged in. It gives a great light to add with the LED lights that are on the awning for outside ambiance and um, where you can see a little better. Power awning on this, again with the LED lights. The step above steps with adjustable feet. Large grab handle. The Suburban tankless water heater, so endless hot water on this unit. The JBL sound is new for 2025, so you have JBL sound inside and outside. And this is your furnace. This is where you put your fresh water tank. Fill is right here. A pair of 110 outlets for outside griddle use or whatever you're going to plug in. As we go back down the side, we've got a second entry door to the restroom. So what makes it nice in this family unit is you're able to maintain an entertainment area out here. The restroom can be accessed right here. So if there's muddy feet or whatnot without them going through the main cabin. Then you have your outside kitchen with full metal top, storage, 110, and a cable outlet. The sink is a hot and cold running water sink. A lot of them don't have it, and it does drain out to the gray tank. Large refrigerator, again, for outside entertainment. And as you can see, we have stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Part of the outside entertainment is this griddle top. So you have this cooktop. It's a piezo ignitable automatic light. So it just swings around on the back bumper for so you don't have to carry it. So it's something you don't have to put inside. It actually just secures to the back. It gets pinned and it gets covered. I order my units with a spare tire, which always isn't standard. And as you can see, they've moved up to LED lights all the way around on this camper for 2025. So we go around the slide side. This is the bedroom slide here. And we have basically our connection port area. So we've got our sewer tank, hot and cold running shower with five foot hose, 50 amp service, because this is 50 amp uh, service upgrade. You can add a second air to this unit, very easy to drop in. And we have our cable satellite, black tank flush, and city water connection all located right here. The interesting thing is you can actually get a spring rod, spring rod this area between the slide outs, and actually put a shower curtain on it and have an outside shower for the kids to get just a hair bit money to get inside. So it's a nice outside shower area. As we go off the uh, main slide outside, We've got tinted safety glass, extra large windows. The bedroom windows also extra large for great viewing as well as natural light. This is the storage from the other side. So let's go inside and take a look at some of the new features. In the bedroom, we have large uh, storage areas over top of the bed, as well as a double storage area on the side. And these are king, they call it a king size bed. It's RV king. It is six, 66 by 78, so it's larger than a regular bed. And it is a Mastercraft style bed. So for a dressing area or reading or just watching TV that you would put in here, you can actually raise the bed by power. 
moves it away from the bottom floor and gives you that upright uh, vision right there. Uh, it does have USB ports and 110 outlets uh, on, on this unit. Um, so, and then you have the solid door here for privacy. This unit does have a 200 watt solar panel with 30 amp uh, controller. Uh, so it does keep the batteries charged nice and fresh. We do have the sink area, which is quite large. It's a single bowl sink. It's got the garden style. The plate dryer. And then you have a dual 110 outlet with USB charge again here. If this is in the way, we can just press it down and it pops right in. A large amount of storage above. And we have our three burner cooktop and our oven, both light and they're piezo ignitable. So you don't need a lighter for this. This hood up top is a new addition for 25. It does actually lift up and behind it is your microwave. So it just gives the unit a more clean appearance uh, when you're not using it, obviously closing it down. You still get the Furion light and fan that vents outside. Refrigerator is a 10.7 Furon 12 volt that runs off the solar as well. And it's a large refrigerator for a family size unit. Besides that, we have storage, pantry, very deep drawers. So this unit will have a 15K air upgrade. And again, like I told you, with the 50 amp electrical upgrade, you can add a second air if you want. It's a simple drop in. The couch area here to my left is a large uh, lounge couch. Um, it's over seven feet in length. Uh, it's good for entertaining, which you could have your television located right here and everything's ready to hook up to it here. Some more storage and you have your fireplace. Fireplace actually has a 5,000 BTU electric heat element in it. So on those chilly nights where you don't want to run the furnace, you could just set the temperature on the fireplace. This thing will put off enough heat to take care of things well into for the fall season. Part of the way this couch operates is first of all, they give you totes. You got three totes across the bottom. So this way you can assign totes or mark what you have in them so you can easily find them and they won't roll around. Of course, there's a jackknife bed. It comes down just like that. Then you have the bed that comes all the way across, just like that. So you have that section there. And then the interesting thing about the dinette is you have two stools, free, free floating stools, and you have your table. So you wonder, okay, there's a nice back area, a nice workstation, but there's only two stools. So how it works is this actually flips around, goes right here. This is your second seating area, but wait a minute, so far away. Table moves sideways. So we can actually get two people over there, two people over here, but whenever you're done or if you're puzzling or something, you can have the table run up against you, but you can move it away for easy access over here. As you can see, you have a large amount of access. So uh, for people that might have a problem with up and down, this is what you want to go with. As we go towards the back, we have another work area here, maybe coffee station. You have a large amount of storage again here, located here. And then we have some more totes, carry totes down here. Across from that, we have the restroom. The restroom has that door to the outside. So I'm going to close the door momentarily. So you can see it has a real nice backlit mirror. Has your salt, your sink, your toilet with the endless hot water system, and your shower. Your shower is a large, 36 inch. I'm six foot one. Plenty of room up into here. This is very nice and high, and they use a large volume shower head for 2025. So let's go back and see where the kids are going to stay. So as we move to the back, we've got our bunk at the top, 250 pounds, located here. This lifts up. This is actually a chalkboard. So it's playtime. This is a chalkboard right here on the bottom of this. The bottom bunk is multi-usable. 
So these actually come off, and it can be a single, or if you've got some additional adults coming, it comes open to a queen stop. And it's flat, it's memory foam, it's a great sleeper. Extra thick as you can see. On this side, we've got your extra bunk on top of the kitchen area outside as well as the steps to get up and you have totes two four six eight nine nine totes everybody gets a tote everybody gets two totes they can take it inside they can fill it up maybe you tell them this is all you can take is two totes i don't know but at least you know where everybody's stuff is at so come on down to best choice trailers and rvs located in Irwin, pennsylvania thank you